All right. Well. Goodbye, Russia. USSR, of course. Hello, United Kingdom. What have we got going on this week? Ooh, Mosquito, Tempest. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be going for the Hunter this week. Definitely going for the Javelin as well. Got a lot of good planes. Uh, the Swift. I've finally started actually enjoying this ridiculously awesome plane. So yeah, let's hop into it. Hey there, Postal here. So this week we have United Kingdom, Great Britain, England, all that jazz. I know England is a part. Anyway, never mind. Not going to get into political semantics. So I'm really excited about this particular week. The highlight for me is going to definitely be my grind to the Hunter. Uh, I've got the Tempest. I like the Tempest. I haven't done much with the line since um, the March of Nations has been um, started. I've really tried to focus on just that particular nation during that particular week, which means I have not played um, a lot of United Kingdom planes except on my Saturday night streams. I haven't played it during the week at all. I want to try to take advantage of those discounts. So we're 100,000 um, XP into the Tempest. We need what, another 80,000 to get the Seahawk, which I'm excited about. I'm really, really excited about getting the Hunter, though. So uh, stick with me. And we'll get that done this week, hopefully. I'm also going to be gr continuing the grind that we have on the Javelin line. This one is going to be a little bit less um, frantic, just because I really do want to try to get the Hunter. Because um, the discounts at Tier 10, you know, the percentage is less, but the amount saved is more, if that makes sense. Um, and so if I can get these two on discount, I'll continue my leisurely grind up the Javelin line. Plus, there's only a week into it, so there's just not a way I'm going to be able to get a freaking javelin out of the deal unless all I do is sit at my computer and play the game, which would be kind of fun, but I'm sure, um, you know, it'd be to the detriment of my relationship with my wife and kids. So, I'm going to focus on the hunter, continue down this line. I'd like to at least get to tier 8, but we shall see how it goes. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's get a couple games in. I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, Tier 6, start with the Mosquito, which I haven't played in a, pff, a month, probably at this point, I guess. So let's go ahead and get some paint for this bad boy. If I know how to click on buttons, button clicking is nice. I don't need the decorations, no offense. I just want help with not being seen, even if it's a little bit of help, I don't care. Uh, let me take a look at what the heck this plane... Yes, I'm sorry. My bad. What I've got this plane set up for. Okay, yeah, I've got the boost. What do we have? So we're still missing the top Hispanos, but that's okay. We're missing the top engine, but again, that'll be okay. Let's go ahead and hop into a battle. Okay, so we're in a tier 6 battle this time. That's nice. Um, he was on our team last time in the video that hopefully you won't have to watch. Um, and he did really well. Came in second uh, behind me, but he's the reason we won, to be honest. So I'll certainly need to keep that in mind. Our first goal is gonna be to get that comm center and then probably sweep up to, um, to here or to here. We'll see. Pilots, get ready for action. Let's go. We're basically starting off at our, um, our maneuverability cap. As far as altitude is concerned, um, and I think we've got our ground pounder coming with us. Oh, no, Herbert's coming with us. The human's going the... No, the human's coming this way. He doesn't really need to, though. Should be able to take this pretty easily, I would like to think. As I say that, I'm sure I'll look like a buffoon and not take it easily at all. I'm kind of surprised I actually killed him. I wasn't uh, necessarily planning on killing him. dropped a bomb there. I kind of want to save my bombs for the airfield, just in case. And since the rockets uh, reload a little quicker. Okay, 
Dang it. Let's see if I can get rid of this boomerang. He's not paying attention. At first I thought they were coming to me, so them going away from me is definitely a good thing. Got a heavy fighter coming in. But I think I can help flip this first. Hello? Oh, I'm a moron. He's not coming my way. He's a bow fighter. Perfect. This is exactly <laughs> how you like to play the mosquito. Is have those uh, you go after those things going away from you. If I aimed a little bit farther ahead of this guy. It actually would have already killed him. Probably. These guns are pretty darn strong, especially for tier. Uh, but I felt comfortable in the tier 7 game we were just playing. So these, and these aren't even the top, top guns. So that's, you've just got so many of them. I mean, there's four of them, four of the 20 mils. Um, they're really going to be tearing everything up. So let's go ahead and check out what's up ahead here. Let's see if I can toss some bombs. I can't toss some bombs, not yet. Oh, and I missed my opportunity too as well. Let's just try to go forward. That heavy fighter's going over to our comm center. That's fine. It'll give me a chance to get this airbase. Oops, something's behind me. That I probably don't want behind me. You really don't want anything behind you when you're in this plane. And it looks like I need to go down and quickly. I've bombing. Might as well bomb in. And boost away, huh? We're not. Oh man, a friggin' boomerang got me. How sad is that? Let's hop in right here. shame of it is that I don't have the ability to just kind of turn and get that guy that's behind me, right? But I got the ability to go straight and get him, so we'll do that. Another hurricane. Mosquitoes can survive hurricanes. Well, mosquitoes probably thrive in hurricanes, right? Let's get their comm center then, shall we? They don't want us to get their airbase? Fine, we won't get their airbase. Let's go get a comm center. Let's get up a little bit higher. Um, we've got a bomber over here. we got everything over here, so we should be able to get this. I guess I can use yield rockets. case. Okay, there's a light fighter behind me, but I've got my boost on, so I'd like to think I'll be okay. Just keep on keeping on. That's a yak. That's not the, the smartest move I've ever done. I thought it was uh, the P-47. Eh, actually, that might have been last game. Shoot, there's an even P-47. My bad. Alright, but we did get that comm center. And you can tell, I can tell, second game back after a month. Um, I'm trying to maneuver too much. It's really what it's coming down to. So got a tornado. A tornado is pretty maneuverable, but it's not that certainly not the most maneuverable. And if he's facing away from me, it don't matter none. These guns, um, these guns. Oh man, they got that comm center. These guns will tear up anything. It's really, really the benchmark of this particular aircraft. I don't feel like it's the speediest thing. 
but I, you need to pick and choose the right, um, you know, the right things to attack. Okay, I'm gonna do something stupid here, everybody. Hang in there. You'll soon be cut off from support. Come on. Again. All right, good. Will not be There's a ground pounder. All right. Let's go pound some pounding of groundings. So I'm not going to be going over to the comm center all by my lonesome. But I definitely want to make sure this guy can't flip. He's working in conjunction with that um, that bomber. These guns, these guns, these guns. Yep. So do I go for their tornado? Yeah, he's just so much closer than... Well, never mind. This guy's coming my way. Tornado's going away. There's a heavy storm here. Unable to proceed. Return into base. Wondering if Do I can. Try to take advantage of, of what he gives, right? Awesome. So it wasn't the 20s. I mean, the 20s killed him, but he was getting out of my um, field of view there. And it was those little 12.7 mil guns or whatever the heck they are that actually killed him, so... Feeling a heck of a lot more comfortable with this. Engage them immediately. We've got, got a hurricane coming up behind us. I know hurricane's gonna take a long time to get up here, so I should have some time to take these guys down. My guns, overheating guns. The hurricane's going to take a very long time, it just doesn't have the horsepower. And I'm too far forward, so hopefully that's enough. Let's go ahead and get this Yak-9. He's got low enough hit points. That we should be able to take him out. Perfect. Like that. Let's circle around. I can't do anything about those bombers, but I can take care of this Hurricane too. Keep him going straight. Yep, I'm all out of boost. That's not good. He's at full health, but if I can hit him and hit him hard, it's not going to matter. Perfect. And what do we got going on here? So let's go ahead and get rid of these bombers again. If we can stop these bombers, hopefully we can shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I don't know if we've got enough, um, I don't know if we've got a big enough points lead, but I know that we can't lose this center. Slow down. These guys, a lot of pressure on me here. They're making the right decisions. Come on. I don't know, I'm overthinking this. And that guy's just toast. It's just too dead. God dang it. These guys are tearing me up. I just want to protect my base. Okay, good enough. I'll have to take it. Oh, is this guy far enough behind where I can actually get him? Maybe? No? Crap. Crap, crap, crap. I just don't have the hit points either. We're slowly losing here. Alright, let's go down and get this ground pounder while we can. <clears throat> Normally I try to stay up high, but he's, um, he's the one that's really kicking our butts, huh? Shoot. <clears throat> and I'm not sure I've got the hit points to actually attack this guy. Uh, he's tier five though, so I, I should. You've done what you could. Dang it. Go back to base. Dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> well, I've never been so disappointed in an ace before. Alright, so unfortunately a defeat, but that game kind of shows you what a um, mosquito can do. 
Um, I started off pretty poorly again. Again, this is the second battle I've played um, in about a month in this particular plane, uh, ever since before the March of Nations started, and even then I only played a couple games before that happened. Um, yeah, so the key really is to make sure you're keeping all your enemies in front of you, and by doing that, I know that sounds easy, right? But I'm not attacking the planes that are that have the potential to outturn me and are coming towards me, kind of thing. I'm going to focus on the planes that are moving away from me or moving, you know, moving in a position where I can e easily put my guns to use. So, yeah, disappointing that I lost, but um, I certainly do like this plane. Let's go ahead and get the upgraded guns. Even better. L little extra range might help. So there's uh, plane number one down. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at the old Tempest now. So Tempest is tier eight, of course, and we have you know we've got those four Hispanos, um, slightly different than what's on the uh, Mosquito. We've got eight rockets, feeling pretty similar, right? Um, there's a lot of similarities between this and the Mosquito that I was just in. Biggest difference, obviously, well, there's a lot of differences, too. Um, it's two tiers higher, um, you know, a lot more maneuverability, some, some other differences, of course, as well. I've already posted um, a video uh, comparing this particular plane to a Seafang, also comparing it to an F2G, so go ahead and check that particular video out. I'll uh, put a link to it in the description below. Um, but let's hop into a game in the Tempest, and... Yeah, we've got 76,000 more experience to get the Seahawk, and uh, I'm really stoked about that, so let's hop in. Okay, let's see what we're in for now. Right, another Tier 9 battle, lovely. F6U on the enemy team, and Prime Sentinel Shikes on the current team. Uh, I mean, on the enemy team as well. And we said Jones, which if I remember correctly is a good player, but we'll find out. Um, although one player doth not, I mean one game doth uh, not make a good player, right? So let's go ahead and get this comm center. Man, the altitude performance on this plane is just killing me. Oh, I remember Moosehead now, now that... <laughs> Now that he talked, he's in my clan. That would be a good reason why I remembered his name. I typically, uh, I typically assume everybody that I'm playing against is really good, just so I can be mentally prepared if they actually are good. And if I do something that um, I would do to make sure I'm maneuvering or, or attacking a really good player, works out really well versus somebody that isn't quite that good. Um, you can kind of figure that out really quick. Or if you do something really stupid and you still out uh, maneuver a player, then you know that well, they must not be as good as I thought they were. Anyway, I'm enough rambling on here. I'm not getting that RB17. It's a waste of my time. Let's go ahead and get this garrison. first. Just so gotta play defense for a little while since we've got a comm center and oh we don't have a comm center. Sweet baby Jesus, I thought we already had this. Why why did we not already have this? Ew. All right. We've taken over the command center. I thought we already had. Yeah, that was my bad. Not paying attention. So much for getting that uh, garrison. I guess I'm just playing defense for the time being. 
Let's okay. see if we can make the garrison after we get this guy done. There we go. Alright. Really would have been good to get rid of. Alright, oh shoot. Can I get him? They are so maneuverable. We can do this. Can I get the garrison now? Oh. Well, it's more important to keep this freaking comm center. Stay away from my center. All right, maybe now. Get that garrison now, geez, after all that defense. I had to remember to use my rockets in this plane. It is it this is definitely more maneuverable than the F2G. Um, but it's not quite maneuverable enough to be just a uh, a fighter, right? Gotta remember I've got those rockets, I always tend to forget that. Let's go ahead and get to this. Let's go ahead and be a pain in the butt and get over to here. Large enemy force is attacking the command center. As they should be, I'm surprised they haven't gotten it yet. Where the heck is Prime? Well, he went to the center, which is why they took over the center. Let's make them uh, regret that. I know, I know, I got, there's planes going by, but I'm not worried about that. Rockets should be ready shortly. Let's go ahead and get rid of this F6U, even though I'm pretty sure I'm probably more out, uh, can probably outmaneuver him. He's coming back towards me. No, not really. Oh, Prime's here, not over there. Okay, good. Mine. All your bases are mine. Oop, there's a heavy fighter coming in behind me. Yeah, this is... I'm not going to waste my uh, ammunition on him, though. and see if we can get rid of this guy. Man, this friggin flying tank. Nobody really thinks of the uh, P-47 line as a crap as a tank, but man, I could not uh, do anything about that. Of the command center. And how frustrating is that? What, nobody can defend anything when I'm not there? It's awesome. Be advised, a line of thunderstorms is approaching. We'll soon be unable to provide support. Do you copy? Over. Oh yeah, copy. And unfortunately, they are set, ready to go to get, you know, to come right in here and take this over before we can actually take it over. Right, boost my little way over there. Super frustrating, man. I can't believe I let that F2H get me. No, I don't want to get into a fight with that guy. Well, okay, if he's gonna keep coming this way, then I'll. That's it. There's no way to break through for you now. You're on your own. News about it. Let's get to the other side of this mountain. Who's on the other side? So I got the F6U. Basically, is a more maneuverable F2H. Oh, 
He's not paying attention to me, so I'm gonna try to take out whatever's in front of me. First. Bomber squadron detected. Engage them immediately. Let's see if I can do some damage to him. If I can hit him. Aim out. He's not paying attention to me. To his own detriment. If I could hit him. And we're still losing though. So what can we do about that? God dang bomber. I can't get the bomber. I just can't. But I can take care of this stuff down here. Maybe. The guy's name... Oh, I thought his name was Elk. What kind of name is that, dude? Just trying to avoid that bat wing, not realizing that they've almost got us. That um, he's gonna be able to. I'm gonna be able to get him. Uh, what's coming my way? Batwing's coming my way. Well, not really, but he's not going away. Wish I could have hit him like three minutes ago. Thank you. Cool. This game, we're losing it though. We're losing it. Get the bomber, get the bomber, get the bomber. Oh, wait a minute. It's my guy. I need him to get the bomber. Pilot, Too late. We are losing the initiative. Push harder. Too late. Crap. Another loss. Another ace, another loss. Crap, crap, crap. I really wish he could have gotten that, um... Got that enemy bomber. That RB-17 is what won this for him. No offense to the rest of the team. All enemy aircraft are destroyed. Oh, and I can't get that RB-17. Frustrating when you're in a plane that can't do everything you need it to do, but... Attention, all aircraft. Fall back and regroup. <laughs> this end screen looks pretty similar to the, uh, to the last one. Let's head on back. Okay, so, so far, two defeats, uh, but two aces, two Koza dubs, which in my opinion are pretty, what can be pretty difficult to get. Um, exciting game, just, you know, just missed it on the, uh, the overall um, score there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Havoc obviously, Havoc, Prime Sentinel did really well there, uh, did a lot to, to lead his team to the victory there. That RB17 certainly helped him. It is what it is. I'm not. Um, I'm not upset. I'm not bitching. Uh, I'm really, really not. It was a fun game. You know, th honestly, those are the kind of games I enjoy playing because I know that win or lose, that it's everything you do is going to make a difference in that game. And um, yeah, they they played well on the enemy team to make sure that they were keeping themselves in just enough of a lead um, to win it out. So. There's the Tempest for you. Uh, I'm an awesome plane. If you haven't started down the multi-role plane, this is one of the more highly regarded multi-role lines in the game. In my opinion, mainly because it's kind of half between a multi-role and a fighter. It's got a little bit more maneuverability than you would expect. Um, it's a little lackluster as far as ground armament is concerned, but um, you know this particular plane has eight rockets, so it can it can definitely do um, some some damage. Uh, even more so than the the premium Seafang. Uh, so let's see if we can get ourselves a win. So we've gone uh, tier six. We've gone tier eight. Let's go up the even line. Let's go ahead and get the attacker. So this particular plane uh, kind of splits. The community is kind of split on it, right? Um, a lot of people do like the Swift. Don't get me wrong. I think more people like it than don't like it. I think the issue that some people may have with it is if you're going down 
the Spitfire line, you've got maneuverability, 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 the epic tier 8 uh, plane in the Spitfire 14. I love this plane, I kept this plane. This is the first plane I ever, uh, first tier 8 I ever received. Uh, first um, high plane, um, high tier plane that I received five marks on. Um, I don't play it nearly as much recently, mainly because I'm grinding so many different things, but I do like to come back to this particular plane. But that's the end of the high maneuverability. When you get to the attacker at tier 9, you've got the same really strong guns um, that you have on the Spitfire, uh, but they don't overheat as quickly. You've lost a, a decent chunk of maneuverability, but it's not bad, and you've gained a lot of airspeed. Um, and the Swift takes that even further. Your guns completely change. Um, you lose even more maneuverability, but gain so much airspeed, and you'll see that in the game, hopefully. Um, your altitude performance is pretty darn good, too, which doesn't really mean too much at tier 10 right now. Uh, but it does mean you can stick with um, you know, an HG3 or just trying to get away from you or something like that. So the, the guns on this plane, are, again, are completely different than what you've learned to play on the Spitfires. So they're 30 mils, really high um, single shot damage. Uh, but the you can't spray and pray with these particular guns. You really need accuracy. And so I probably shouldn't have... Um, in fact, now that I think about it, I put cruise flight on here. I'm going to go ahead and reset this and get the... Mm, 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 oh, what? I can do that. I got that. Save your gold, kids. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the complete accuracy on this particular plane. I should have probably done that earlier. Because you really, you because it's um, single shot, I mean there's two, but because it's uh, relatively low, um, um, <laughs> because it's relatively low rate of fire, you want to make sure that you're hitting when you can hit. So let's go ahead and let's hop into a battle in the um, Swift. Let's see if we can get as good of a um, setup as we just had in our Tempest. The enemy and we shall win. All right, it's pretty darn plain, isn't it? Um, so disclaimer, I, this is the first tier 10 I ever had. Um, I didn't jive with it at the time. Um, I, I just ground, ground, grinded, I don't know, whatever you want to say, um, up the Spitfire line and got to this and was pretty disappointed and started popping around to some other stuff. Um, I've played it a few times, a few times, I've played it, you know, since then, obviously, um, but I haven't played it a whole lot. And I certainly haven't played it in the last year for, for the same reasons I keep telling everybody because of the Martian nations. Alright, so tier 10 battle obviously. What are we going up against? Detlev in an ME. Um, yikes. Oh man, I forgot the ridiculous lack of maneuverability of this particular plane. And see, I haven't even... It's been such a long time since I've played this. I haven't even set it up to get to have the extra boost. Like I've got most of my um, high-speed jets, but the altitude performance. Look, we're going from a, a tempest into this, where we're at 8,000 feet before we even turn yellow. Um, that's fine. I'll bring a hornet up here to me and make him uh, make him regret that. Are we gonna actually take a freaking garrison in a reasonable time or not? Come on, people. So much like you would in a Tempest or a Hornet, you want to attack the things going away from you because your maneuverability is pretty poor in this particular plane. I'm not even going to try to dogfight with those little shenanigans. really want to get to the comm center as quickly as possible, but I want to make sure we flip this so that... Perfect. Man, I wish I had loaded my boost. I have 10 seconds of boosting, just get up in the air really quite low. But look, we're up to 580 miles an hour. I mean, so this thing has some speed. And to be honest, it's probably one of the freaking coolest looking planes in this game. I mean, just, honestly, just look at it. It's You wish, you wish, right? I know the game's not about looks. It's not about looks, baby. But this one's got the looks. Hello. So you're going to play this plane kind of like you would a heavy fighter, right? Um, or a, a multi-roll in that you're going to have to use that energy that you've got. And if I can hit a shot, where are my freaking shots going, man? Oh, 
Where did my shots go? Um, anyway, so you can't outmaneuver anything. Or most things, I should say. And when the guns aren't hitting, it makes you want to pull your hair out with little hair you might have left. Nile 40 Jeebus. Just getting my hit point shaved off every second I get a chance to. Let the guns, let the anti aircraft fire at him. Hoping some hit points would have come back, but no, it's not meant to be. Okay. Try to stay down low here so that uh, the rear gunner doesn't get me. Moving up and around. Oh, he's still coming my way. Shoot, thought he was going the other way. Let's go ahead and take care of, see if I can. Stick with this guy, he's in a bat wing. Hit, please just hit. This has been the frustration for me from this particular plane. It's not necessarily the fact that I can't outmaneuver anything. It's that the guns just are not uh, what you're used to. With all the Spitfires and the, um, the attacker. When they hit, it's awesome, right? But got somebody behind me, and yet. Boost away, boost away, young sir, boost away. Yes, yes. This is just getting used to where the, you know, where the, the aiming of it goes. How far forward do I need to go? Whew! Feeling good. Let's get up high here. Um, yeah. So we're doing pretty okay. Probably not getting an ace in this one, guys. So don't, uh, don't be upset with me. Is launching rocket strikes on our complex. Shoot, I know. Uh, Dust boost. I'm not even gonna miss with that guy. Yeah, you can, you can turn around all you want. Come get, come at me. One thing this plane has going for it in spades is airspeed, uh, which is good more for. I mean, it's good for getting away from planes, but it's it's a little bit better, honestly, for sticking with planes that think that they can um, get away from you. You know, I might not be able to necessarily stay 100% with an HG3 or certainly an XF90 or a Javelin, but it's going to be able to stay with them long enough to um, to make a difference, right? And if those kind of planes don't have the maneuverability to wiggle around the, um, the 30s that you're shooting out of here, STA-183. Oop, my mouse just stuck. Yay! No, Boris. I'm not hanging out with you, man. Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Support will be unable to reach you. Nope. Let me get away. I need some hit points. Give me some hit points. Somebody give me some hit points. Target. Enemy doing what I would do in a heavy fighter in this instance. I'd use my speed to get away, get my health points back, hit points, whatever they're called, and by the time I'm ready to turn around, they've forgotten about me because it's either a bot or it's a human that's not paying attention. Nice. So these guns are obviously really, really... Whoop. Hello. We cannot you any longer. The storm is too I think I don't have to worry about him. Do you copy? Um, so, you know, it's this is awesome at taking out heavies and taking out um, ground pounders. 
It's pretty good at multi-rolls because it's got about the same maneuverability as most of the multi-rolls out there. Um, at least this tier. Oop, heavy fighter, what am I? Who an HG2? So let's let's look at that boost and see how well we can stick with an HG2, shall we? The enemy has taken over the command center. Immediate counterattack required. Actually, I'm catching up to an HG2, so that's what he gets for trying to wiggle. Enemy bombers detected. Alright, turn back around here. How are we doing on points? We're losing by 100 points. It's not good, obviously, just in case you don't know math. Cool. Got another ground pounder coming in. Can we take care of him? Can we take care of the bombers? Can we take care of what? <sighs> Too much going on here. But we've got four sectors. I just need to defend the heck out of this sector. Wow, that IL-40 is a lot quicker than I realized. Put the flaps out. Melt an IL-40. So if that doesn't tell you how good these guns are, nothing will. Just melt an IL-40 down. Um, and now we're just trying to hold on to get our points. So let's go ahead and let's defend the... Uh, let's get these bombers out of the air. Wish I wish I had my boost. I haven't needed to re... Um, to to fix my engine once yet. Don't have to worry about anybody coming out of the spawn over there, so that's certainly a good thing. I definitely need to switch out the, um, the consumable here. So let's go ahead and start turning. Yep, I still started turning too quickly. How well does this kill bombers? Way to go. Flaps out, flaps Victory out, flaps out. out. Uh, I think if I can defend this bombing run, will actually be okay. So let's go ahead and defend this bombing run, shall we? Okay, just putting the flaps out, putting the flaps out, putting the flaps out. Still need the flaps out. No! Oh no! I thought I had him. Oh, that's terrible. Absolutely terrible ending. Too much speed. Have that happen in the F-86A as well. There's too much speed. Um, I'm hoping, I believe, we will be able to hold on. Hold on to... The, never mind. Um, dang it. Disappointment all around. Oh, and I probably had a chance to get a uh, ace, didn't I? Crapatastic. So hopefully I did enough damage to that um, bomber that we were able to... Um, have it defended against... Is he going to crash into the bomber too? Dang, dude, almost. Let's see how this particular battle ends. It ends in a victory. My first victory of the day. I got him a Campbell because, of course, I got him a Campbell. 14,000 personal points and a grade one. So let's head back to the hangar. Well, there's our uh, first victory of the day uh, yeah, at Tier 10, Grade 1, McCampbell, 19, god dang it. My bad, everybody. Uh, that should have been an ace, right? And um, I just thought I had that bomber. I was just moving way too quick. Um, but they don't call this thing a swift for nothing. And yeah, it says airspeed 91. It's actually really hard to slow this plane down, though. An F-86A uh, Saber, I feel like it's I can slow it down relatively okay this one just keeps its energy and so you want to know that you want to utilize that for when you're trying to get away from your enemies there's a lot of enemies uh, at tier 10 obviously that have some pretty good airspeed but this can keep that airspeed and really keep it going um, so it took me a lot <laughs> wish I didn't start off as rough as I did in this last battle but hey it is what it is it's a good battle posting it so I hope uh, you know the, the three battles that we've got going on today kind of give a heads up of what uh, you can look forward to in this, these particular lines. Um, three really good tech trees in my opinion. Um, this one's pretty good for starters um, just because the Spitfires have so much flexibility and by the time you get up here if you've learned how to how to um, play the Spitfires you know I'd actually recommend stopping at the attacker and start playing either the multi-rolls or the um, heavies and learn how to be kind of an energy fighter, probably more with the heavies than with these. 
it's very funny. The British have it pretty well set up where you know, you've got your maneuverability, you've, you've got your heavy hitters, and then this literally is just in between these two. Pretty good maneuverability, pretty good hit, heavy hitting. Um, lack in altitude performance, you're going to notice that on all the tier 8s and below. Just pretty bad altitude performance. So um, very enjoyable lines, all of them. I'm really excited for the UK week on March of Nations. I certainly hope you are. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a long one, but hey, UK hype. So give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, thumbs down if you didn't. Feel free to comment, uh, as I say, at the end of every video. Um, you know, I'll respond to every comment. I really do um, enjoy interacting with everybody. I hope you enjoyed these particular battles, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.